Rosie Annette here and I'm super excited to film this video for you like literally didn't even get dressed yet like in my pajamas filming this video for you right now. Um, it is my first impressions of the Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar palette. Now confession time, clearly as you can see on my arm I have already swatched all these. I wanted to get it done ahead of time because here is the palette itself closed. You see this little black right here? This arrived to me damaged from Sephora. So they are sending me a new replacement one, but there is black shadow everywhere. Like I tried to peel, get some of it off using a makeup wipe down in this corner. So I wanted to just wash them ahead of time so I could get the true colors, not get black all over myself and all that. I will still be doing finger swatches in this video for you though. So let's start. We're going to start right here at the black one that did break and also this brown one broke, but the black one that broke is called Licorice. And here is it, a couple rubs on my finger. It is very pigmented. And here it is on my hand. That I swatched it the same amount when I did all these. So you can tell that it is super pigmented and it is a matte black shadow. There is no shimmer in it. It is a true matte shadow. The next shadow is this big long highlight shadow. It's called Coconut Cream. And this one I did, um, here it is on my finger, but I did have to, I'm getting a phone call. Okay, sorry about that. I had a phone call come in. I had no idea to pause the video or anything, but Coconut Cream. So I swiped it back and forth a couple times. This is what it looks like on my finger. Now in order to get it to show up on my hand for you guys, because it is a really light highlight shade, I did have to go over it a couple times. But that is Coconut Cream. It is a gorgeous matte highlight shade. The next shade is this one right here. It is called Nougat. It is like a pinky mauve shade. And this is what it looks like on my finger. And this is another one that I think this will be a perfect blending shade. It is super pretty. It is kind of light. But again, it's another gorgeous shade. It is also matte. The first four shadows I'm going to show you, including the next one, which is Truffled, which is right here. This is a matte true brown shadow. It doesn't pull red. It doesn't pull gray. It is or orange. It is a true matte brown. And as you can tell, very pigmented. And very, very pigmented because that's with two coats now. So those are the first four shadows in the palette. Now we're going to get on to <laughs> the first shimmer shade, which is also broken, came broken in my palette, as you can see there. This one is called Hot Fudge, and it has, it's more of a cool toned brown, I almost said gray, it's more of a cool toned brown, as you can see, and it has a little bit of silver, very tiny silver flecks in it. So that is Hot Fudge. Now we are on to Coco Chili. This is honestly going to be, it's this one right here, one of my favorite colors in the palette. I am a, I prefer, prefer, new word, making up words this morning, prefer warm toned colors and this is a warm toned brown that has some gold flecks in it. I don't think the camera is going to pick them up. They are pretty prominent gold flecks. Like they're not as small as truffled silver flecks. These are definitely going to show up way more in the Coco Chili. Now the next shade is called Pink Sugar. And this is a shade that some of the black from Licorice has fallen into. But it didn't seem to change. Like when I swatched it on myself, it didn't pick up any of the black, although I somehow have touched black from somewhere because it is, again, all over my hands. Um, but Pink Sugar isn't super pigmented. It 
I mean, it's not super pink. It's on these two, it's on my middle two fingers. Um, but it is super, super, super shimmery. It is a perfect color if you have a matte shadow or even a shimmer shadow and you want it to be a lot more shiny. It is just the most gorgeous color because it's so sheer and actually the pink portion of it that you could just layer on top of any color and make it a shimmer shadow or add a little extra glisten to it, especially for this holiday season. Now we are moving on to pudding. 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 Noji put in and this is another shade I'm super excited about in this palette and you can see I, I'm getting black everywhere um, and it is just so gorgeous so so gorgeous and it's just another it's I mean it is in my opinion a little cool tone but I'm still super excited about it I think it'll be an awesome crease shade for me because I am a oh my god I swear this black is everywhere I am a neutral palette lover so I have so many neutral palettes I can't even tell you so I'm super excited for pudding now the next one is this really pretty blue called Blueberry Swirl. Sorry, I'm kind of blocking you guys with the mirror. Blueberry Swirl. And this one I wasn't sold. Well, it's not a neutral shade. But I wasn't sold on the pigmentation of it. This was one swipe, and it didn't come out as bright and vibrant as it did in the pan. It is a shimmer shade, but as I build it up, it is coming... Just get another little bit here up to be really pretty and if I ever get bold and daring with my makeup it might be a color I actually want to try just because that is such a gorgeous blue now the next color is peanut butter which is a orangey brown in my opinion it has a lot of orange to it and it kind of almost reminds me of the Texas Longhorns, Hook'em Horns, um, orange. But it is right here. And I think these two actually, because um, they're on opposite sides of the color wheel, I think peanut butter and blueberry swirl look really good together. So the next color we have is Frosting. And the name of this color kind of made me laugh because it is a dark brown. And I'm not... I know I'm holding a chocolate bar palette, but I'm not the biggest chocolate lover. So whenever I make frosting, it is like a cream cheese frosting or vanilla frosting. It is never a brown frosting. So when I see frosting, I was expecting frosting to be my type of frosting, which is white. This is a goldy brown color. It is right here. It is shiny, and I think that, guys, I don't know, there's so many colors in this palette that I <laughs> absolutely love. Um, actually, pretty much, other than Blueberry Swirl and Licorice, because I will never use black, I pretty much love every color in this palette, to be honest with you. So we just finished the second row. So we just have the bottom row left. And I was going to say there's some of my favorite shades on the bottom. But there's some of my favorite shades throughout this whole palette. So let's be real. The first one we are going to look at is called Rum Raisin. It is a taupey shimmer shade is the best way I have to describe it. And it is right here. It is kind of gray for my liking, but I have been experimenting more with cool tones and stepping out of my comfort zone. Now we have Moose, which is right here if you want to see it in the pan. And Moose is a very a universal shade. I have a shade like this in another palette. We're very similar to this that I use... On my brows to fill them in when I'm not using my Anastasia Brow Wiz. So if you have really light hair like I do, 
although it looks darker because it's up, you can use mousse to fill in your brows. It'll work for that as well. And it's a very pretty, um, it's a very pretty, where is it? Right here. Eyeshadow shade as well. Three more to go. Next we have Caramel. And it is this very pretty gold shade. And being a Chargers fan, I'm like, yes, this will be so perfect for Sundays, which are our game day. Or this week, I think we actually play on Saturday. But it is right here on my arm. So it is just a super yummy, warm gold tone. As if golds, I guess golds can be cool tones. Now we have Bon Bon, which is a almost a very peachy, light, shimmery shade. And I just love the name of this color. It's almost a rose goldy shade. It is right here. We're getting into the lighter colors. So they're getting harder to see. And our last one is the matte or is the shimmer highlighting shade. So in the top, coconut cream is a matte highlighting shade, and down here, butter pecan is a shimmer highlighting shade. And this will be the last one. And you guys can see that one is so pigmented, it's not even funny. So here are all the colors from the Too Faced Semi Sweet. I can do this without blinding you guys. Chocolate bar palette. And I overall think if you are a neutral palette lover like myself, you are going to absolutely fall in love with this palette. Like I said, if you ever do want to get bold and step outside of the box, there are the two colors there for you. Um, I mean... I just, I, <laughs> I really am excited to use this palette, especially once my non-broken one comes in the mail, which Sephora was just so awesome about replacing it and sending it as soon as possible. Also, it comes in this very cute box that I showed you in the beginning, as well as it comes with this little um, glamour guide. So it has some eye looks in there for you to see that I am going to be doing tutorials on with you guys in the future. So if you guys have any questions or want to know where to purchase this, it'll be in the down bar below. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will talk to you guys later. And please give this video a big thumbs up for me.